All right, here's my data center that I've been working on for the past, I don't know, 12 or so years. I finally got it to just about where I want it. Sorry, the office is kind of messy here. But, uh, yeah, this is it. This is, uh, this is uh, my baby, my pride and joy. It's a work in progress, as usual. What we got over here are, I'm going to go in this way. We got three servers. We used to have a lot more. Um, we've got a, a 2U PowerEdge R530 and two uh, 1U uh, PowerEdge R230s. Uh, still lots of expansion possibilities on the uh, on the 2U server. Um, we have a managed gigabit switch. Uh, we're getting rid of that firewall, that Soho firewall, uh, Linux box, patch panel, patch panel, and our gateway. Um, down below we have two UPSs. I have a, I have um, the UPS in the back is a split off so that because uh, there's not enough ports in the back for for this guy. Um, this is an APC. Uh, it's 1100 watt, if I'm not mistaken. Um, UPS and it's. I mean, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get down there a little bit. It's got the. Uh, it's got the uh, the screen on it that shows the load and, and the battery power. We've already had to replace the battery on that one once, which was a big pain in the butt because it's it's pretty heavy, and it's also uh, relatively expensive, like 400 bucks roundabout. Um, but as you can see, it's only at 18 percent load, and that's got all of my network infrastructure and all my servers on it. We used to have in here six servers. Uh, I have another server on my desk. It's kind of a project uh, SSH box. Uh, might do some other fu fun things with that uh, as a Linux. It's going to be a Linux box or Windows 7 with SigWin. I'm pretty leaning more on uh, Linux box. But the ability to have a Windows PC here at all times and not have to lug my laptop around, you know, or if I'm here on a whim, I can uh, I can use a, a Windows PC and still have all the functionality of Linux. But, yeah, essentially what we have here is um, we have our, our hard drives here. Um, we have our hard drives here for backups. Um, I mounted this... Uh, See if I, that's not good. That's not good. Um, I uh, mounted this here um, as you know, just a another port expansion. Um, and then there's the uh, there's a KVM switch. It's a four port uh, VGA, which is all you need for a server. And it's great because uh, I can I now have the setup that I that I absolutely need. I've got a monitoring keyboard, um, you know, a mouse mouse pad, and at the push of a button. I can swap between my servers as opposed to having multiple screens, um, all the extra cabling that comes along with that, and uh, yeah, it's just a big pain in the butt. What I was doing before I got the, the KVM was I was literally taking the hardware and plugging it into the server, using it, if I needed to get to the other server, I plugged it in. Um, so it's nice to have a multi-port a multi -port switch. Um, there's our phone system. Uh, patch panel for the uh, for the phones and the real actual phone system uh, has all the the voicemail and all that good stuff. Um, had this circuit installed uh, actually by my uncle, so that's uh, that's for the uh, for the UPS. It's a special it's a special plug, the twisty kind. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what makes everything here work. Um, it's my pride and joy. It was a lot messier. Maybe I can find some. Uh, some old pictures of it to, to give you all an idea of what what it used to look like with the four or five six servers in it at a time and how much different and how much cleaner it is now um, that I have it adjusted and the great thing about these servers here is that those servers are the the, the rack mounted you, you roll them out you roll them out you can check to see all the stuff uh, you can pull up the thing and um, and you can take a look inside or you can just slide them out and it, it's easy in and out um, as opposed to just stacking a bunch of boxes and towers look which is what I which is what I did before so um, a lot of computing hardware uh, the top one has a dual processing unit the uh, bottom ones are just uh, regular just single core or it's not single core excuse me single processor uh, blades um, like I said, the, the switch is managed. It's a 24 port gigabit managed. We have a backup uh, gigabit port uh, that's actually over. Uh, it's actually over here. Um, 
we're using all all the cable that's in that's in the the roof the the yellow brand right there is all uh 5e uh plenum cable uh but i'm going to be uh going up to six um in the future if we ever decide to, to up our bandwidth a little bit i know 5e can handle a little bit more but i'd rather just have six or better um but yeah that's it that's the uh that's the whole that's the whole thing uh as far as uh, computing technology go, or computing and, and, and power and such. But uh, here I have had this. This I had um, at my other previous job at the doctor's office. Um, and this worked in my data center. So so when we it was come to time to have a data center uh, of this magnitude here and we needed to cool it down, I got this because it did so well at the doctor's office where we were running four servers in a closet and they were going crazy so uh um it was good this is this is back in the uh this is back in like the pentium four days we had servers that were running actual pentium four ht chips i didn't set the i i didn't install the system i just fixed it um i fixed all the problems that they did so we used that and it worked wonders um as you can see uh it basically just drains through the um you can, kind of hard to see it but you can see the little uh, tray there that just drips into the into the trash can and I got a sump pump which has a hose that goes all the way up there with the exhaust vent and it goes across there and into the kitchen um, and it just feeds in the sink uh, and it's you know it's it's not the most professional way to do it but it's been working for years and that sump pump's been doing it doing its job it fills up it fills up and it, that little uh, this guy right here fills up, it pushes up, and it turns the sump pump on. Sump pump sucks it all up. Works out. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't like. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.